Hi everyone, it's Christine. Um, I haven't been feeling well for a couple weeks. Um, I think it's the cold weather was down into like the 20s at night and it really triggered a difficult time for me and um, I've been having a lot of muscle, extreme muscle spasticity and like we all know that I've already told you guys about that but now I'm having like attacks where it's almost like a an episode um, where the spasticity just kind of takes over and my muscles just turn hard as rocks and my body just goes stiff straight and it, it it's painful and I've been having this happen uh, a couple of times a day or at night and spasticity is really bad at night so I haven't been sleeping and then so in turn I've been feeling crummy. I saw my neurologist on Tuesday and incidentally I think that might be the last time that I see him. I'm pretty sure I want to transfer back to the University of Washington. Um, he did a referral for a um, neurogeneticist that I had actually seen before um, and I'm interested in seeing her again and so I've got a referral to her and then I'm going to be going back to the rehab clinic up at the UW which I like that hospital a lot better. Um, my breathing um, has gotten worse because of the spasticity so on Tuesday I have an appointment to see my breathing doctor and he's going to try to discuss and wants me to try a CPAP machine at night which um, I'm willing to look at but I'm really not excited about because I move around, I roll around so much, I'm such a light sleeper and I get up like three times a night I just can't imagine having a mask on my face um, I don't know I, I it's at the point where they the doctors are not sure what to try next so um, Dr. Bowen didn't give me a whole lot of advice and um, just did some referrals and prescriptions um, I know the rehab clinic up at the UW they might want to try Botox. They've already discussed a baclofen pump with me and I'm really not interested in that. Um, I'm just on the verge of if I have any additional weakness with trying something um, I'm afraid that I would lose my independence and so it's been difficult to keep my attitude straight. I when I'm feeling good I definitely have a plan I want to buy a mat table a mat table a raised mat table and then put that in my spare room and I could do my stretches again because I haven't been getting on the floor I haven't gone to the pool since November and I think my body's just super angry because I haven't been stretching and I haven't been exercising and it's so cold out that um, my arthritis is so bad that I think that's why everything's happening but um, I'm not sure it's a good time to start the pool when it's you know below freezing or around there so I'm gonna just try pressing through the next couple of weeks um, I've got a lot of care help um, getting a massage tomorrow um, you know they don't have a lot of answers for me um, I did send off my um, my venogram uh, disc to another doctor in New York for a second opinion I haven't heard back from him but um, I'm really 
getting to the point where I'm losing hope. It's just trying, you know, it's really trying. I have a chronic condition, it may not be multiple sclerosis, probably more than likely it is not. So please, everybody, don't think that I'm the future of MS because they don't know what I have and it's more than likely some sort of muscular um, dystrophy. So maybe when I go to the genetics department, I will find out more about testing or whatever, but geez, I'm sorry to be kind of a drag or a bummer um, that I thought I'd do an update and let everybody know that um, I'm pressing forward. I'm still, you know, I'm still kicking myself in the butt to try to keep going. I'm working still. I have my routine, so I'm still doing that. It's just... I'm not, I don't really have quality of life. I'm not really doing much but just working and my routine. So anyway, I know it'll get better as soon as the cold goes away. Anyway, um, I'll talk to you. Bye.